In other news today, the BC Women's Hospital is making an urgent plea for breast milk donors. Demand is set to be greater than ever right now, and that has the provincial supply running critically low. Our Tina Lovegreen has more. First time skin to skin. He's so little. Cleo Wu was able to first hold her son Adam a week after he was born. He was born 29 weeks, and uh, he was only two and a half pounds when he was born. So that human milk is very, very much needed. But because of complications during her pregnancy, she wasn't able to produce any milk. So for the first month of his life, he relied on donor's milk from other mothers. I definitely feel like it's a blessing for me and my baby. So having donor's milk uh, provided for my baby, I know my baby is going to grow like with enough nutrition and uh, proper nourishment from the, the human milk. Eight-month-old Adam is now a happy and healthy baby, eager to start crawling. But other mothers may not be so lucky. The province's milk bank is running critically low. ...where we put all the raw milk. And as you can see, uh, currently we have lots of empty shelves, which we'd like to see all full. Because we spread it out a bit, there's about 4,000 ounces in here, and we'd like to see 20, 30,000 ounces. Um, usually it would be th at least three quarters. We have had times where it's absolutely full, which is absolutely wonderful, um, but it's low now. They will probably go through the milk that's currently in here in a week. The demand for donors' milk has been on the rise after BC Women's Milk Bank began serving all 13 of the province's neonatal intensive care units. And we're not meeting all requests, so we're having to tell some families that we can't, um, particularly outpatients, that you know we, we cannot provide donor milk because we just don't have it. A hard message to give to parents, she says. Because the babies that are receiving the milk, the majority in the province, are very fragile, premature babies. As for Cleo and Adam, she's now able to produce milk and is donating to the milk bank. I didn't even hesitate. So definitely my son being a recipient for the donor's milk made it more meaningful for, for our personal life. But uh, if I see this somewhere else, I would still try to do this. After all, it can make a difference between life and death for a baby. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Vancouver.